Hi, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I want to talk to you today about overall outcome and defensibility against not just viruses, but a variety of infections. Because what we're looking at is we're still in the middle of the pandemic. And of course, all we can think about is COVID-19. But if we kind of take it back and simplify it a bit, what we have is a virus that's making a lot of people very sick. And viruses have been very good at that for a very long time. But why is it that in addition to people who are elderly, um, there's been a lot of different studies, but we're seeing obesity as something that is a very common, what's called comorbidity, meaning something that's occurring, uh, and let's just stick with Americans for right now, uh, something that's occurring in Americans that's setting us up for a less good outcome uh, when we get this viral infection. And I think the mechanism of this is very important to understand, and it might be you know, good to understand it and then we get a better impetus to, to get healthier and make some changes in our body and, and how something like being overweight can, can lead to um, heart disease and diabetes and fatty liver disease and a whole host of other diseases that again puts us in that category of not being as robust to defend ourselves against any sort of infectious agent. So. Um, what happens is that when the body gets obese, um, we're not talking about you know five pounds overweight, but we're talking about um, greater um, obesity and greater uh, poundage. And what occurs is that uh, you can have stable fat, and that's fat in your in the buttock, in the thigh area, and that's called brown fat, and it and it doesn't doesn't go anywhere. It's 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 stable. It's it's, it's not angry, because what I'm about to describe is what, what we call angry fat, and that is that it's more fat in that midsection of, of your body, and what happens is that the fat actually gets infiltrated by immune cells. And this is an interesting thing to uh, understand, because at, at this point, what you have is, is this unhealthy fat, and the immune cells are... are infiltrating, getting into it, even though it's not uh, precipitated by an infection. So it's an interesting thing, it's an interesting mechanism, and, and then we'll go down the road and, and see what happens with that. So we have an obese individual, um, their fat cells have gotten infiltrated by uh, white blood cells, part of the immune system, and it's creating a lot of inflammation. And again, we start referring to this as angry fat. And that angry fat wants to sort of tell the rest of the body about its anger, if you will, a way to think about it. And so these uh, white blood cells go through your bloodstream and they go to your brain and your liver and your heart and they go all over the body sort of spreading this message of, okay, the fat is, is angry and uh, we're gonna let the body know about it. And what occurs with that is you, these are inflammatory cells. So not only is fat on fire, but now you have a liver on fire and brain on fire, and that's what inflammation is. Uh, I just did a video about uh, good and bad inflammation because the good side of inflammation is when you legitimately do get an infection like a virus and those immune cells um, get get angry at, in the right direction. They get angry at the infection and they create all this fire and inflammation, sort of a chemical storm, and they just attack the bad guy and then everything goes away, everything chills out. So it's a very precise attack, kill the bad guy and then no more inflammation. What we're discussing here is chronic systemic inflammation that in today's talk has to do with poor diet, poor nutrients that's created this uh, imbalance in, in our bodies. So now we have the systemic inflammation and we have all this fire going on throughout the body. And now within that environment, now a virus comes to visit. And when you don't have inflammation, then you are very you're much more defensible against the virus. 
when you're already sort of self-inflamed and on fire, then the virus gets into your system very easily. So it's just, it's the work. When we have obesity, we have the wrong environment. We're having a friendly environment to the virus, which is the exact thing we don't want to have. We want to make ourselves inhospitable to the virus. So we've already sort of created all this fire, and now we don't have anything left to defend ourselves against the virus. Um, in a video I recently did, we talked about uh, the two types of your immune system. And one other point I wanted to make is that um, the first arm of your immune system is called your innate immune system. The second arm is called your adaptive immune system. And the adaptive immune system, by its name, it, it's adapting to you know, this bad guy that comes your way, and then it makes antibodies against that. And so it has a memory, your adaptive immune system, so that the design is that when it sees that bad guy again, it knows exactly how to destroy it. And not only does your immune system do that, which of course is the, the best way, but vaccines are designed to do that as well, as to create these antibodies against uh, viruses and other organisms. And so, um, what can happen again is if you're really inflamed, as we've been describing, your adaptive immune system doesn't work the way it should. And so you're more likely to get secondary infections. Uh, your adaptive immune system is not good at remembering that bad guy and destroying it. So uh, vaccines also don't work as well in, in these sort of individuals. They don't work as long or they're not efficacious at all. So all of this is something we have to look at in just our overall health and how we're feeling, but also our defensibility against disease. So if you're in the category of obesity or you have fatty liver or type two diabetes or heart disease. And these might sound like very different diseases, but at their core, they have chronic inflammation. And that's what we have to go after. Because again, we have to save that good inflammation for the bad guy. And if we're chronically inflamed, we don't have that to defend ourselves. So I hope that makes sense. And what we're here for here at Root Cause is to get that inflammation down, put out that fire for you. And it's different for everyone. It'd be so great if you said, oh, well, just take this and that handles any and all inflammation. <laughs> that would be so great. But that, that doesn't exist. It's, it's personalized. How did you get here? And um, that's what we're all about. It's very personalized medicine. So if you feel like you're in this category and you really want to get your health to the next level, that's what we're here for. So give us a call. The number here is 408-733-0400.